In today's video, we're going to go over all the details of how you can catch Ditto in the wild and how you can get yourself a five perfect IV Ditto in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. But before we get into today's video, please subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can always unsubscribe later if you would like to. But Ditto is a Pokemon that you really do require for breeding. It is one of the best Pokemon because it can breed with pretty much anything that's breedable. It's why you want a high IV one because for making competitive teams, it is an essential tool in your arsenal so we'll come over to the pokedex region you can see here the primarily ditto is going to appear in the western area of the map so the place that we're wanting to head to is called medali and this is the location here i've already got it pinpointed on the map where we want to be going because this is primarily where ditto will appear and the thing is with ditto in the wild it's a little bit awkward to find because it will use its transform ability to mimic other pokemon in that area so if we just head out from the Pokemon Center towards this direction, we've, it's the kind of the path that we want to be taking here. And you'll see there's like a ravine area, and this is exactly where we want to be, where Ditto will primarily spawn uh, through the day, through night. The first thing to normally do, like you do when you get into a new area, is check the Pokemon that are appearing here. And you can see that Ditto is one of these Pokemon. We've got Dunsparce, Tropius as well, and then we've got a bunch of other kind of common Pokemon that are spawning in this area. Now, a way to be able to kind of distinguish without just battling Pokemon, whether or not it is a Ditto or not, is trying to get a lock on these Pokemon with the ZL button. And uh, sometimes it's not super easy to do, especially if you've got these aggro Pokemon kind of chasing you around. There we go. This is an Oinkalong. So you can see that is an Oinkalong. Staravia. I have to admit, although you can find Ditto here, it's not my preferred way to, uh, to hunt Ditto for sure. There we go. We've got a Ditto. So you can see it will show up. It's impersonating a Fetchinder and we can just encounter it here. Like I say, it can take a little while to do, but if you've got the persistence, you'll eventually be able to do it. So you can just throw a ball at it, weaken it, do whatever you want. False swipe user as well is always something to consider for these. And this is just an example of how, there we go, critical catcher, how you can get a ditto in this area. Like I say, it's not my preferred way of obtaining dittos, but you definitely know you can come to this area and it's probably quite quick to identify a Pokemon. There are quite a lot of aggro Pokemon in this area though, so it can be a little annoying to get close enough to the Pokemon to kind of get that lock on to identify what they are. So you can see here, if we go to our boxes, we are gonna be able to have a look at the IVs of this, this Ditto. And to be fair, this has a zero speed IV. So this Ditto is actually gonna be quite useful. Now I'm gonna bung this in with my other dittos that I've got. These are all dittos that I've caught in the game so far. The majority of these dittos are all from Terra Raids. Um, so you can, you'll can you be able to see we've got two five IV dittos already, which is one is here and I think the other one is here. And these are from six star raid dens. These are available, six star raid dens are available in the post game. You've got to complete the entire game, all three stories, and then take part in the champion tournament that is held at the end of the game. Once you do this, you'll get access to six star raids. I'll do a whole video on raid dens and how to obtain the six star raids on the channel. So make sure you do subscribe to those. You are gonna have access though, as soon as you become the champion, you get all your gym badges, beat the elite four to five star raids. So this will unlock this feature and you can get from five star raids a guaranteed four IV ditto. So that's something that you will be able to get from five star raids. And there's always a chance of getting a five or even a six IV ditto from those raids, but you're guaranteed from those to get at least four perfect IV ditto. And even if you're not at the stage yet where you're into the post game where you've got five star raids, four star raids, or even the six star raids, you can still utilize things like the three star terror raids to get a ditto and kind of guarantee yourself at least one or two perfect ivs until you're at that later stage in your game where you're then able to pick up better dittos that you can use in breeding projects and don't forget as well even if a ditto has only got one or two perfect ivs you can still use that to some effect in the breeding process as well so although i'm not going to go into much detail today i'm going to i will show you exactly how you can hunt five star 
raid dittos or just ditto dens in general so when you're on your map you're gonna have the terror raids dotted around and it is difficult to identify what a ditto den is because there isn't really a way to identify what a ditto den is you literally have to go in and check every single terror raid den to see what the pokemon is if it's a ditto great if not then it, it becomes a little bit harder but one of the ways you can do this is if we just take this example here and then you can put this into practice yourself and this is the method that i've been using to get the, all the dittos that i've got and uh, hopefully by showing you how it works it will be something that you'll be able to put into practice as well. Even like I say, if you haven't got access to six or five star raid dens yet, you'll still be able to, to put this method into practice and hopefully start getting yourself some dittos that have better IVs for breeding projects. So just say you're coming over to this den and you are just checking it to see what's inside it. Look, it's a muck here, okay? So you've checked, say you've checked every single den in the Paldea region and you haven't got a ditto. One method that you can do, and this is what I've done, um, and this has worked for me, is hit your home menu, come down to your system settings, then come down to system, then, then date and time. Make sure that your synchronized clock is off via the internet. You don't need to do anything else. You just need to skip the day forward a day. Then hit your home menu, come back into the game, and you'll see the den will disappear. Sometimes another den will pop up where this den is. You'll see the mass outbreaks have changed as well. Um, but most of the time, the den that was where you are in the vicinity will just disappear and it'll be in another location. But then you can come onto your map here and you can, you can have a look at maybe the next closest one and go and check that and then start checking everything in the region be funny if this was a ditto it's not though but you can see the method here and that is what i did i did this with the six star raid dens i've done it with five star just the regular dens as well that are in the area and just use that date skip glitch just to move the date forward one after I've checked everything, and then I can go back through the dens, check them all again that next day after I've changed the date, and then I've had a lot of luck getting these dittos. Obviously, with the six star raid dens, they do look a little bit different. Um, they have a glowing purple ore around them, which look a lot like this, and you get one of those per day on your map. So once you've cleared that den, you'd have to wait until the next day takes over before you get another one but by using this date skip method you are then able to just respawn another one and go straight to that and check it and that's the method that i use to get all of these dittos that you can see here in the box and i'm kind of ready to start doing some breeding projects with two five star perfect iv dittos and a bunch of other ones that have good spreads as well i've got enough now to start breeding competitive pokemon and start doing a lot of those things that you want to be doing in the post game that wraps up today's video i hope you found it useful like i say i will be putting out a full terror raid guide on the channel very soon so stay tuned for that make sure you do hit that subscribe button if you're interested and you don't want to miss it if you've enjoyed today's video got anything out of it please drop a like and good luck hunting for those dittos like i said you can get them in the wild but it's better to just go through the terror raids you're going to get better iv spreads doing it that way and obviously once you get a good terror raid try and share it around with friends I'm going to be doing the same on my live streams or anytime I get one over in my Discord group. So thank you for tuning in, friends. Take care of yourselves. Have a great rest of your day and I will catch you in another video very soon. So until then, take care. Bye-bye.